How do you move to this alternative you're talking about and writing about without strong unions? Union membership is down to its lowest level since 1936 when Franklin Roosevelt was president. And can you do this without increased strength among unions? A union in its negotiations with an employer currently is limited, in most cases, to asking for better wages, better working conditions. Imagine with me for a moment what it would mean if the unions developed a new strategy. Let's call it a two-track strategy. On the one hand, you continue bargaining with your workers for better conditions from your employer. But on the other hand, you do something else. You begin to train workers to become able to run their own enterprises and to have a whole new bargaining chip when you confront an employer. Many unions over the last 30 years have been confronted by a company that basically comes and says the following. We're thinking of leaving Cincinnati, Sheboygan, uh, Detroit, whatever. Uh, we need to get some concessions from you. We won't leave if you give us wage givebacks, lower benefits, all the usual things, or else we'll leave. The union doesn't know what to do, is terrified, doesn't want to call the bluff, because not sure it is a bluff, et cetera, et cetera. So eventually the union caves. That has been the, the history over and over again. Imagine a union that had been able to say to these folks, okay, if you leave, rather than coming to a reasonable accommodation with us, we are going to set up an enterprise right here. The factory you leave, we will occupy. The jobs you don't pay us to do, we will do for ourselves. And you will be located in China, bringing goods back here, but we'll continue to produce goods here, and let's see which goods the American working people will buy. But they will need capital to do that. Yes. And the question is, where would the capital come from? And The question is, where will the capital come from? Good. The answer to where the capital will come from, there are several possibilities. The first possibility is the United States government. The United States government has the money, needs to do something for our unemployment problem, and here's a way to do it. Because as the Marcora Law in Italy that I mentioned earlier right. illustrates, there's a governmental and a social interest in doing this. This is a better way to solve the unemployment problem than giving people a dole for months or years at a time, during which time they lose their job connections, they often lose their skills. It, this is a much better solution, giving them the startup money to begin small, medium-sized enterprises that they will have a great interest in making successful because it's their future, it's their well-being that's at stake, and it's their collectively owned and operated enterprise. Well, why in the world don't we have a cooperative business administration, providing startup money and technical help so that these kinds of enterprise, particularly helping unemployed people, could begin not only to help them and to help our economy, but again, to provide that freedom of choice for Americans so we can all see how these enterprises work and make a collective decision whether we'd rather have an economy more of them than of the old capitalist type. And again, I think that the capitalists would be surprised by how many of us would choose that other route, and that would be a way to get it going.